the music I normally use for Laura? I, think, I can't remember now. Gosh. Laura Burns is here from Career Store <laughs> Citrus Leafy Marion. Is this the music? Is this? Gosh, why does it sound different? This is the music you dance to? This is weird. Where's your voice? Where's your voice? There you are. Okay. Good morning, Laura. Good, mo- good morning. Gosh, I'm good I didn't even you introduce that. you. Okay, Laura Burns is here <laughs> from Career Source, Citrus Levy Marion. Robin the other day told me that in her church there was a lady, and somehow, and she can tell you the details, but she recommended Career Source to somebody who needed to tell somebody else that yes. how to find a job. Okay. Hallelujah. And then Eating Robin said name. to me something very insightful. She said, It's funny how. Because we do a radio show, we are so familiar with so many of the resources in Ocala, but so many people don't, didn't get the message. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. many people, as hard as we try, between Facebook and the radio show and whatever else we use to get the word out, there's always somebody out there who hasn't heard of yep. Career Source or the Homeless Council right. or the Literary Council or Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's unbelievable how many people don't know about the, so many different great things we have in our community. So oh, I, I feel I like a, we're failing you, Laura. We need to do better. <laughs> if I had a dime for every time I heard someone say, oh, um, if only people knew that you existed, do, oh my you, do you think you might want to try that? Yeah, yeah. Have you, have you tried radio? Have you tried Have you tried radio and have you, advertising? Have you tried standing on the side of the road with a funny costume? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, you you can't you can't uh, touch everybody in every touch point all the time, and that's why there isn't one one approach. There yeah, isn't yeah, one yeah. one thing. I mean, there are those who say, "Oh, social media is all you need." Well, no, but for those who are active on social media, that's an excellent resource, and we certainly use it to a, as much as we possibly can. But you know, our our region, our three county area. It's, it's pretty diverse. We have uh, Levy County, and they don't even have universal broadband there. So and they don't have a daily newspaper. Um, so, you know, it, there are different things that we have to do. We still advertise or have in, in, in phone books um, because there are people that mm-hmm. rely on them, and we can't just drop them if, if we'd like to. Um, you know, in print advertising, you know, this is Citrus Levy Marion County. So yeah. what's in the newspapers, what's in our magazines, that's still very relevant to to our population. Yeah. So we don't just say, "Well, that's so you know, 2010 but, or something." Mm-hmm. And it's our responsibility to you um, to get the word out, and okay. and you do such a great job. And these videos serve. And when you have actual employers in here talking about mm-hmm. actual job opportunities, you would think that some of these would just be spread everywhere because some of the opportunities. Oh my gosh, they sound so good. The, the wages, the, um, the um, what do you call the, the, not the perks. Benefits. Benefits, yeah. thank you. I always use the word perks. Uh, same diff. Yeah. Benefits is yeah. what I like, yeah. I mean, there so many businesses don't even offer benefits, so mm-hmm. I don't know, just. Well, we have, you know, we have an extraordinary community here. We have diverse businesses, uh, small, medium, large, uh, creating uh, products on a global scale right here in our own backyard. I know. I mean, we have some amazing uh, businesses here, and, and I think that's something we need to celebrate every opportunity we can. And uh, for people who say, oh, there are no jobs here, well, have you looked? I mean, just sending your resume out to the ether and hoping it sticks and that somebody or, or somebody comes knocking at your door, you have to meet them halfway. You have to let them know you're looking. You have to get prepared. Um, you have to be ready not only willing and able willing you have to be ready for that job and sometimes that means you need to upgrade your skills and we have mm-hmm. well that's kind of a nice segue. <laughs> yes you do we, have, <laughs> we do have programs to help with and that, robin was telling this to the whoever she was talking to at her church that you could help not only find the job but get them ready for the job with training and mm-hmm. and paying for them to be what do you call an apprentice the interns interns there's there are a yeah. variety of programs um on, on the job seeker side and that sort of jumps into um I, I mentioned that we had some frequently asked questions that that i'd like to sort of address how is it that you look so young did you just say you're a grandma yeah. No, gosh, I wish I was. <laughs> oh, you're not a grandma. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. But how is it you look so young? You look so young. 
Uh, you got a youthful complexion. I Did have, anybody ever tell you that before? Oh my gosh! Um, it's the portrait in the attic. I guess it's turning old. I don't know, but <laughs> but my baby <laughs> sister. Oh, I like that. That's your book. <laughs> that's the title the of your book. Portrait in the it's, attic. <laughs> it's Dorian Gray. I mean, it's not very original, but uh, oh, that's somebody else's book. Sorry. My yeah. my baby sister, who's two years younger, her oldest daughter is going to have their first. Um, child so oh um, yeah. be a great aunt on my oh aunt so, okay and same and, thing and she's going to be yeah <laughs> grandma how come you look so young oh no great auntie how come you look so young <laughs> yeah exactly great auntie how come you don't get old like everybody else does what do you do differently <laughs> i wish i wish i didn't but Robin, but you, am i lying no you're not look at her you're complexion <laughs> laura has oh, porcelain we, skin that's beautiful oh uh, boy oh boy oh boy um point to one wrinkle <laughs> 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 well, I have to say, I, I am somewhat, somewhat blessed. free, so that is... You're blessed. That's a nice, that is a nice thing. Yeah, but sorry. Anywho. Was that embarrassing? So... Was yeah. that an awkward moment for you? It is an awkward, <laughs> awkward moment. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. But here's a question that we get asked often. <laughs> yeah, let's hear these. Can you help me with training for a new career? Yes. And the answer is Maybe. I mean, it. You know, I mean, yes, it was a good question. Yeah, it's a good question. So you have to be um, unemployed, or you have to be. If you're working, it has to be in a low wage job. So say you're a head of household, mm -hmm. and you're earning uh, minimum wage, and you've got two or three kids to support. You know, that would that would qualify you oh, uh, really? for some training. If you are out of work, uh, unemployed, and and you need to retrain, perhaps um, what, we what, have. Can uh, I ask what wage is considered low enough to qualify for that? Uh, well, I, I, Whatever it, minimum I think wages? it's a case by case. I don't, okay. I don't have that exact information. We have people who will look at no. your uh, applications and figure it out. But I think that's a probably a good example. You are head of household, maybe a single parent, mm. and you have some children to support, and you're mm. you're working full time. Yeah. But at minimum wage, that's that's going to be a, a tough road to hold right, for sure. Right, yeah. So uh, what we what we are focusing on is providing. Uh, any degrees or certifications that uh, would be of value in our labor market, leading to a job in a high demand occup occupation or an emerging industry. Um, so, in other words, you can't say I want to come in and you. I want you to pay me to um, write scripts for Hollywood. No, that's that's probably not going to be on that list. But mm -hmm. the target occupation <laughs> list, and and I should point out that various courses are offered at eleven post secondary institutions in our area, including Marion Technical College, Taylor College, College of Central Florida, Rasmussen College. So, I mean, a lot of them are right here in your own backyard. Can I tell you, I've never heard of Taylor College. Where is that? That's a nursing one. That's down in Bellevue. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. okay. They focus on okay. nursing. Okay. So here, here's just, and, and in no particular order, just to give you sort of a, uh, an idea of the types of training that, that are on that high occupation, not high occupation, well, Targeted occupation list, registered nursing, speaking of Taylor, cybersecurity, electrical apprenticeship, welding technologies, corrections, uh, HVAC technician, law enforcement officer, EKG and phlebotomy prep courses, early childhood education, engineering technology, logistics and supply chain management, Lean Six Sigma Green Belt, radiology technologist, prep corps, prep courses for comp TIA A plus and network plus. Prep corps. Prep corps. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare a corp. Yeah. Information. That's probably a high paying job. That's not, that's not on the list. Information security <laughs> system. I love this one. I, I just underlined it. Certified ethical hacker. Okay. I, I, go. Oh, I know what that is. Thing. Yeah, so I think that's probably close to cybersecurity, but... Right, sure, um, yeah, sure. Paramedic, I think you had driver. somebody on here who talked about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Medical administrator, physical therapist, assistant. So everything from, you know... Truck drivers, if, if you want to do a commercial long distance truck driving to medical administrator, I mean, you, so you have sort of the whole gamut there. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a sampling. So if you are unemployed and, or if you are employed but in a low wage occupation or, mm -hmm. or job, um, do visit us at careersourceclm.com and find out about the uh, short term training. And that 
unemployed also means graduation from high school if the students don't want to go on to college but they need a job oh sure absolutely okay mm-hmm. we take a little break and we'll be right back uh laura burns is here if you have a question call in 622-9622 the weather is brought to you by myfwc.com safe boating is no accidents on this wednesday sunshine some clouds and warm high 79 to 83 partly cloudy wednesday nights with a low of 56 to 60 there'll be some fog in the area late wednesday night into thursday morning and partly to mostly sunny and warm later thursday with a high of 78 to 82 friday partly sunny and warm high 80 to 84 from the florida weather center i am meteorologist joe lundberg Hey, this is Matt Wilkerson from Verizon. You work all day, right? So why would you want to spend your night out shopping for that new phone? Well, Marion County, let me and Verizon help you out. I can deliver to your home or office, saving you precious time. Phone, tablets, internet, home phones, even accessories. Whatever you need, we will deliver free of charge. Call me at the store, 352-528-0020. That's 528-0020. Wow, man, you have a computer? Yes, and I'm looking at villages1.com. They have a ton of information for the village's residents. Wow, they have information by the ton? I only need a couple ounces, man. Movies, schedule, doctors, local attractions, even a section called Who You Gonna Call for Plumbers and Painters and stuff like that. These guys own cyberspace. Wow, man, they own it? What cyberspace? That's where they packaged 50,000 pages of information for the village residents. Wow, they package it? Where? Villages1.com. Where, man? Villages1.com. Sunrise Automotive, this is Matt. Hey, Matt, it's Dan. Hey, Dan. Listen, we're going to be doing some traveling, and I need to make sure the car is in good shape. Why don't you just bring it on by? Let us check it out. We can check all your belts, your hoses, your tires, all your fluids. In out of town, is that up north? In the cold? Yep. Okay. Let's check your antifreeze. Also, let's make sure your washer fluid has got alcohol in it so it doesn't freeze up north, because that, that makes for a rotten day. And let's check your air pressure in your tires. Let's look at your brakes. Make sure everything is safe and secure there. Let's go through it and just make sure everything is ready to go on the road. You do for an oil change? Yep. Whenever you come in to get your oil change, we always check your belts, your hoses, all your lights. We go through and make sure that everything is working properly. We check all your fluid levels. We do that every time you come in to Sunrise Automotive. So just call you back at this number? Yeah, just give me a call back at 690-1993 whenever you're ready to come in. And you can drop it off, leave it with us, whatever is most convenient for you. Look forward to seeing you at Sunrise Automotive. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 572-2510. That's 572-2510. All right, 12 minutes before 10 o'clock, 64 degrees, temperatures climbing to 81 today, and not a bad day. Tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, all the way till Sunday before temperatures drop. So it looks like a nice first half of the weekend. Anyway, second half, it'll be rainy. Laura Burns is here from Career Store Citrus Levy Marion. And be- before we continue, can I tell you there was an article, and I, I just really looked it up really quick, from Forbes magazine. We had this discussion the other day. Interesting uh, job titles that basically do the same thing. A receptionist at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt calls their receptionists directors of first impressions. Oh, yeah. CEP has some of the... Uh, yeah, the directors. Part. So the yeah. person mm-hmm. sitting... So Patsy. Yeah. Yeah, Patsy. Is a director first. of first impressions. It's a great title. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. All right. So that's, that's a funny one. I mean, that's not so funny. But here's a funny one. Uh, at InTQ Corporation... The person who oversees the company's graphic design needs is called a crayon evangelist. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> a crayon evangelist. Mm-hmm. You can tell that's a fun company to work for, and I think that makes all the difference in the world. The folks from Rainey's, uh, their HR uh, manager is what a director or manager of... Uh, Director of Buzz, I think, is her title. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, there, there are a lot of interesting creative titles uh, uh-huh. for for what's happening because the work workplace changes, and you don't just do one thing anymore. You do multiple things. So mm-hmm. it's interesting that that their the titles are sort of reflect um, that and broadening the, of scope and the aspect of a job 
that you bring to the table all the time is the culture of the job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's interesting that that would even be a consideration because when we were kids, our fathers and mothers would say, just get a job. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're in a factory. Well, there's no culture in a factory. There is. Mm -hmm. There is, but we never thought of it that way, right? Exactly. And and that's where, uh, because nowadays, you will go through a variety of different interviews, all for the same job, probably. Starting with maybe a phone screening interview and then maybe a one-on-one and a panel interview you know it's not just one and done and every time I've had panel interviews uh, when I've been interviewing I always ask them what's it like to work here what 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 do you do do you guys hang out together do you celebrate birthdays do right, you right, go right. out to lunch do you you know what would you would you or, or Robin, would you take a job in a business where it was all you'd be the only woman would you ever take that job sure sure Robin would you yeah yeah, I often would, wondered sure. if that was something you'd be uneasy about, you know, because if I, what was the thing I was at the other day? Oh, at the Menopause the Musical. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like one of the few men in the audience. It was like, well, this, it wasn't weird. <laughs> it wasn't weird sitting there because you're sitting there. But after it let out and, and mm-hmm. Robin went to the restroom and I'm standing there, I was like, holy cow. <laughs> I'm the only estrogen going on. <laughs> oh man! I mean, uh, diversity in the workplace uh, is, is a great thing, um, both gender and 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 you know uh, ethnicity and and all that. So I mean, right, right, I would right. prefer to see a diverse workplace. Um, but you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't turn down a good job just because I'm the only woman. Um, yeah, I think that would be an asset to the company. I think so too because I know when uh, uh, Ronnie was on jobs because he was a welder there was w- the first female welder on one of the jobs and there was like you know 300 guys and this one woman oh, wow. but they were all very respectful of her mm-hmm. because she knew her stuff sure, she w- yeah. didn't just kind of slide in see that whole male myth that we're all just you know. going to be wolves that's, well that's that may have well, been they were real kind to her though. more generational <laughs> I mean when I started in journalism I was you know it was mostly guys I bet Right, right. Yeah, I bet. Oh, the stories I could tell, but um, you know. I told you I dated a, a journalist, right, in the seventies, at Star Gosh. Banner. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah she she yeah. wrote for the Star Banner. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she still contacts me every now and then on Facebook. Good, good. Um, and she was one of the few. She mm-hmm. wasn't the only one though. There was another lady yeah. there. I remember. So you have a, a youth fair you want to talk about? Well, we had one. It was last oh, Thursday. Oh, had one. Okay. And thank you for asking. It was phenomenal. I I uh, told the organizers I wish all of our job fairs could be organized this way. It was terrific. We had probably around 450 middle schoolers that, that came out. They were bused from their schools. Mm-hmm. Um, we had three sec- sections set up. The first group went to a workshop, very interactive on soft skills, uh, which employers tell us, you know, it's important to have the hard skills, but if you can't communicate, work as a team, you know, have a sense of humor, those soft skills are equally critical to success in today's workplace. So so the, that group uh, had that workshop. At the same time, another group was in the actual expo, the job fair portion where we had uh, employers and education partners and they were, uh, the kids could go around and, and talk to uh, at each table and find out about the jobs, get information. More importantly, learn what kind of training they needed. Then they could go meet up with the different uh, education partners to, to find out, you know, I'm interested in this career, what's my path? And and so that was very successful. And then the third group was, uh, I guess, liken it to speed dating. So it was a room with uh, tables of eight students, I think, and then um, a hiring uh, industry representative. And they, the kids, got to ask questions, very candid. Um, the, the individuals that were representing the industries were just talking about the industries and, and just fielding those questions. And then they got to talk, and then when the bell went off, not the kids, but the adults went to the next table. Okay, so they okay. could make the rounds, and it was so effective. And I love seeing these middle schoolers in bow ties or suits uh-huh. and ties oh, wow. and taking notes and they you know uh, you know not all of them but a, a, a good majority of, of the young people there took this very seriously yeah, sure, sure. Um, and I just can't say enough um, thank you to all the employers who participated to our partners uh, uh, Public Education Foundation of Marion County Marion County Public Schools the CEP and the Mid Florida Regional Manufacturers Association that made this happen and most importantly perhaps our sponsor uh, HDG Hotels uh, that sponsored the event 
So we're having another one on February 2nd for high school students. We expect uh, the same same outstanding turnout. Uh, so if you are interested and you want to uh, participate as an employer, um, you know, contact us at 1-800-434-JOBS. Uh, Five six two seven, and say, hey, how how can I get in on this? Because w what a great event! I I was just tickled pink. I think everybody. How long was, was how long has Career Source been around? Well, we uh, Career Source as Career Source, we rebranded uh, in February of two thousand fourteen. But uh, Workforce before that, we were Workforce Connection, and uh, that been around since I believe nineteen ninety six. Okay, so okay. yeah, and you know different iterations, different things that we focused on. Right, right, right. But yes, uh, we've we've been doing this for a few years. It's amazing. It's an amazing thing. I, I actually used an employment agent that I paid. Mm -hmm. She was wonderful. Mm -hmm. This lady really was wonderful. And, and sh I think they took one week's worth of pay and mm -hmm. she let me yep. pay it in 10 pieces. Mm -hmm. So I was only giving 10% of my pay each week. So, And yeah, I think we talked about this before. When I first moved to Florida, I did that. Uh, I used a um, a staffing agency yeah, to help yeah. me find a job and then and then I had to pay them and I think I borrowed the money from my grandparents to pay <laughs> them up front and then I was mm -hmm. paying my grandparents it back was, um, it was so much better than going into the classified section of the newspaper because you're, you're speaking to somebody like we're speaking to you now mm -hmm. and you were asking and this is why I think career source is awesome and it's free by the way mm -hmm. so yes, I mean you, but you sit with somebody you can do it on the computer but it's, I think I'd rather sit across the desk. There is simply no substitution for one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Uh, because when you meet with one of our employment specialists, they're they're your advocate. That's uh, it's you, like headhunters. And you know yeah. so yeah. much about what's in your inventory. Mm -hmm. I mean, in your in your world, inventory is jobs, and and so what's out there, you know. And they can find out from you. You know, okay, so you have these skills and this experience, but you know, maybe that industry no longer exists because mm -hmm. technology has replaced it. But but you have all this background. Well, what can we do with that? So we can do the assessments. We can see what skills will transfer to what industries. Um, you know, where those are. So they can really find out what your interests and needs are. Um, is it a deal breaker? I mean. Can can you commute to Citrus County or Hernando County or or Alachua County? Is is that okay? Right, right, right. Um, you know, because then we can expand that uh, search for you. Um, you know, and we do know people commute all over in this area. So, uh, or is it just absolutely important for you to have uh, a job that's close in because of family obligation? So, I mean, they really, really do everything you can imagine to to make a really good fit for for you. Are there businesses out there that hire temporary personnel and can someone sign up to be considered to be one of those? Oh, sure. I mean, the the vast majority of the the jobs uh, in our area are full time, but mm -hmm. there there are about twenty to twenty four percent are, are part time. Um, you know, we we will. We will, if an employer says, I've got a part-time position, and they post it with us and they need that filled, you know, we're going to work with them. And there are people who, who frankly, as on a career seeker side, they want to work part-time for whatever reason. Maybe mm -hmm. they're going back to school. Maybe they're taking yeah, care of young yeah, yeah. children that have to be home at a certain time. Maybe they've got an elderly parent that they, you know, are, are helping. You know, so there are, there are myriad reasons that people would want um, a part-time type of situation so sure sure we'll mm -hmm. work with we'll work with whoever whatever the need is we're going to work as hard as we can to fill it when i first started in radio that i did a part-time job here and mm -hmm. i did a part well mfq was part of this station at mm -hmm. that time and i did a part-time at tmc okay because neither one of them had a full-time position open and they right. and they both told me i had to quit one or the other oh. and i said well you give me a full-time job <laughs> and i'll quit one. i can't i can't support myself with one of these i have right. to have both of them yeah yeah right. Yep, yep. Well, you know, um, I my son who he works uh, two or three, definitely two jobs, um, possibly three. Uh, you know, so in in going to school, uh, you know, so yeah, wow. It's, uh, well, good for it, him. It, it um, doesn't it boggle your mind when you know somebody who does three jobs and goes to school, and then you speak to somebody who says there's no jobs out there. You know, when I hear someone say there are no jobs out there, I, I just say, well, 
have you tried us? Have you come to us? Have have we done what we can for you? And if not, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> because that's, that's well, I, uh, we, we sing your praises all the time, and when we start doing it on the air, then people think we're doing an ad for you. But the truth is we really believe in what <laughs> Career Source has to offer. So thank you for bringing it to the table, and, and thank you for being fun with me when I give you awkward moments. <laughs> thank you. Uh, so CareerSource, CLM.com, that's the website. Yes, sir. And listeners, please help us serve Career Source and Laura better. Share these videos. Somebody you know needs a job. They need to find out about Career Source. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. I appreciate it. Small Studios. This is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The White House says the president isn't done commuting prison sentences. This day after a move drawing fire from a lot of Republicans, a commutation of former Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning's sentence for leaking U.S. documents. It's very disappointing and it's very harmful 